It's time for this week's episode of Brandon Sports Talk, featuring in-depth interviews from those who are trending in the world of athletics. And now, here's the host of Brandon Sports Talk, Brandon Pate. Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I have the privilege to interview the Athletes Unlimited lacrosse professional player, Lindsay McColing. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Can you talk about how you knew that you wanted to become a professional lacrosse player? Yeah. Um, so I grew up playing soccer my whole life, actually, and just started playing lacrosse in seventh grade, but um, fell in love with the sport, uh, would what in high school was watching um college across at the time I don't even believe there was a um professional lacrosse league and then as I got to college the professional game kind of started growing and continuing um and then this year I was fortunate enough to play in the inaugural athletes unlimited um lacrosse season which was awesome it was such a good experience and I I think it just culminated um my career just culminated into playing in professionally and I was so fortunate to get the opportunity to do so like when I was growing up, it was always my dream to, to become a fresh professional athlete. So I love that it happened in lacrosse. Of course, how did you know that you wanted to go from soccer to lacrosse at such a mm-hmm. young age? Yeah, um, so it was interesting. So I played like at a very high level club soccer um, and I was practicing three days a week and had games on the weekends and my practice was pretty far away from, from my home. And so when I knew that I like really wanted to play lacrosse in college, I had to make a decision um one way or the other just time management wise um and going into high school and everything so when I when I figured I want I wanted to play lacrosse in college I decided to take that route and join a club team and then I was able to play soccer just for my high school of course what was it like playing for Northwestern in college it was incredible I had the best five years there um I think it Northwestern really became my second family um I love every single girl that I got to play with and the coaching staff was amazing and they really pulled like the best player they could out of me. So um, I was very fortunate to be able to play there for an extra year or two um, due to COVID this past year. So uh, I loved it. We had a really good ride this year. I obviously wish we could have won it all, but um, it it was awesome. Of course, as you talked about COVID and getting that extra fifth year due to COVID, what was that like? playing during COVID and getting that extra fifth year this past year? Yeah. So, um, when, when our season was canceled my senior year, I like really thought my career was over. Um, I hoped and wished that I was going to get a fifth year. Um, and obviously the opportunity came and I accepted and went back to school. Um, it was definitely different. Like every day you're kind of worried that something was going to happen and the season was going to get canceled. Um, and luckily we never had an outbreak on, on our team. So we never really had to deal with like quarantine or any of that, but um, it was, it was a challenge mentally just being able to like be super diligent about the COVID rules as well as just being performing at your highest level. Um, but again, like I was so grateful to just be there given that I, my season or my career would have been over had COVID not happened at this point. So um, I was definitely really, really grateful to be there. And I took every single day Um and had so much fun with it and just really played for the love of the game. And we was, we had a really great season. So I definitely can't complain there. What was it like putting on the Northwestern Jersey? Um, it, it was amazing. I mean, to go into a program that is coming off of seven national championships, um, you really, you know, that something great is going to happen when you put the Jersey on. Um, and I learned that freshman year all the way up until my fifth year, like this, feeling of putting the game day jersey on never changed it was always really exciting I always had like nerves and butterflies but um it was a great experience and again every single time I put the jersey on it was it was like a dream come true to be able to play at a college level so um it was it was amazing what was some of the game day rituals that you had during college that transferred over to obviously now playing professionally yeah um so I would say, well, it kind of changed professionally because of the way that like we were in a hotel, we weren't really in our rooms or our homes or anything. But in college, my best friend and roommate would um, go to the field, have our pregame meal, 
and there'd be like an hour before we had to be back at the field. So we would run home or drive home, have a coffee, blast music, come back, get ready for the game. Um, and at Athletes Unlimited, it was a little bit different because just the setup was different, but same thing. I would go to the field after my pregame meal, blast music, get ready um, and play. And yeah, I just would listen to my own music on the way there. And then I guess music is a very big part of it. Um, and then a pregame ritual that I did, I always wrote um, the same thing on my wrist. So I always had tape on my wrist and would write the, a little logo and note to myself. Of course, what was it like competing in the Big Ten tournament? Yeah, uh, amazing. I mean, each year we got, we did well. So each year we were able to play in the Big Ten tournament because only four teams were allowed to play up until this past fifth year. Um, but to be able to to win junior year and beat the number one team in the country at the time, Maryland, um, was real. It was a great feeling. Like they, that was the first time I'd ever beaten Maryland, so it was it was a good time to do it um, to win our first Big Ten championship. Um, and then last year, I think it just like it showed how hard we had worked and how diligent we were and how much we wanted it to be able to continue to win up until that point and to beat Maryland again in the finals. Like obviously they're a great program too. And we have a rivalry. So it's a rivalry game, no matter what. And then you're adding in a trophy. And so to be able to be the one to like lift it up was so, so much fun. What is it like for you to compete all four years in the NCAA tournament and then obviously go to make the appearance for the last two years? Yeah. Um, it's something that not every team has the opportunity to do and not every lacrosse player has the opportunity to do. So it's, it's really special when you get to tournament time, it, it adds a whole nother layer of um, competitiveness and excitement to be able to play in a playoff game like that. And I mean, the entire, every year it's you win or you go home. And so as I went through my career, like we went, made it further and further and um, we made it to the final four twice, which is an incredible experience that I wish everyone could have because it's, so much fun to play in front of such a big crowd and to be on TV and all that. So obviously, I mean, I wish we would have won one of them, <laughs> which we didn't, but that's okay. The experience was, um, it was, it was, it was a great way to end my career um, to be able to play in the final four again. Of course, ending your career, what was it like transitioning from obviously being a college athlete to now playing with athletes unlimited and getting drafted? Yeah. Um, so it was, it was super different. Like we didn't, I didn't have class that I was going to, you weren't, especially with athletes unlimited, we weren't just on one team for the whole season. So um, there's a lot of transition in terms of just like figuring out how to play with everyone that I was playing with. And each week having a new team, you're getting put into a new like system kind of um, whether that's offensively or defensively. Um, but it was super exciting to be able to play with all of these girls that I'd played against in college and then girls that I had watched play when I was growing up. And so to be able to play with all these people and form all these connections on and off the field was an experience that I definitely, definitely loved and am really, really fortunate that I was a part of. Of course, now with Athletes Unlimited, what is it like to play with players that obviously were your rivals? Like, let's say when Taylor, Taylor mm -hmm. was with obviously Marilyn and now you get to play with Taylor instead of against her. Yeah, um, it was a really crazy experience. I mean, you're so used to like being against each other and not wanting to like them and uh, like, I don't know, playing hard against them and wanting to win and being competitive. So you have to mentally shift of like, they're not the enemy. They're not my opponent anymore. They're on my team. And each week, even if you're playing against somebody, you had no idea if you were going to be on the same team the next week. So you're constantly having these like on and off field connections of trying to to make sure that you are growing as a player and as a team. And so the best way to do that is to put college in the past and to play together in the, in the now, in the present. Was it like the first time you got to put on your professional lacrosse jersey? Yeah. I mean, that's a, like it, I said it earlier, but I always knew I wanted to be a professional athlete. Um, so to be able to actually play in a game and become a professional athlete in lacrosse was, it was like literally from my dreams when I was growing up. So um, yeah, I, it, it was, it was surreal almost like you're putting on a, you're getting paid to play the sport that you love and you're finally putting the jersey on and it's literally what a lifetime worth of hard work that's paying off and you're playing at the absolute highest level that you can be playing at in that moment, which is, it was really awesome. 
Of course, since you said you knew that you always wanted to be a professional lacrosse player, when you got to put on that jersey for the first time, what was that feeling like knowing that obviously all your hard work now paid off to where you are now? Yeah. Um, so I think it, it just, it's special. Um, there's, you see, there's only like so many, I don't even know what the stat is, but there's a very small percentage of athletes get to play at a professional level. A very small percentage gets to play at a college level. And I think it's just, it just proves that like I wanted it and every other person that was standing next to me on the field wanted it that badly that they were willing to put in the hard work and be on the wall for hours when they were 12, 14, 15. And as you get through college, that work ethic and that love of the game never left you. And so it's, it, it just was like, it was awesome and it was incredible and super special um, and something that I'm, I'm really happy I can say that I did. What are some of your game day routines and rituals now as a professional athlete? Mm -hmm. um yeah so I I try and do I so I I wake up in the morning it depended on when our game was because we played at like 8 p.m some days so you're like super hyped up the entire day and you're trying to like keep it calm until you're ready to play but wake up we have like a team breakfast or a team brunch and then um I would go back to the hotel and watch the other game that played before me um and then go to treatment at the field and go into the locker room, blast music, dance in the locker room, sing, be like, get all the like jitters and the goofiness out and then um, get ready to play and go warm up. Of course, with the games, did you only play one game or did you play multiple games throughout the day? Yeah, we only we only played one game a day. There was we only played one game a day, but there's two games. Um there's two games a day and you'd play in one each and it, it was three days in a row. So the whole weekend you had a game every day. Of course, with having games each week, three, three in a week, what was that like compared to obviously in college where you had more games per out, four out the week? Yeah. Um, so it's different. Like you had, I had to, my body had to be ready to play the next day. Like I was not used to that. And in college, we, would play on Thursday, Sunday. So you'd have a couple of days in between to like get like ready for the next game. But um, the turnaround was a lot faster in Athletes Unlimited. And so there's pros and cons of that. Like, obviously I was like, oh my God, I'm exhausted, but I had to wake up in the morning and play another game. And on the flip side, like I got to wake up in the morning and play another game, right? So like, I loved that if we lost, like we had an opportunity right away to go like avenge our loss. So we it was definitely took some getting used to just physically and mentally of being game ready for three days in a row. But um, I think it paid off and I think everyone got to a point where we enjoyed it. Who are some players that you look up to in the professional lacrosse? Mm -hmm. um, I think, I think I, so in, in high school, I remember watching Taylor Cummings play um, for Maryland uh, I remember watching Katrina Dowd play and she's played in Northwestern. So uh, she really was someone that I like had looked up to. And I knew that was like a special part of what, uh, what made Northwestern what, like what it was at that time. So I think both of those players are players that I definitely um, remember watching and wanting to emulate and wanting to play like, so to be able to be on the same field as them was pretty awesome. And then um, Kelly, my, my coach in college actually made, put clips together of Kayla's trainer dodging on people and sent it to me and was like, learn how to do this. Um, so to go from being sent her clips and being told to learn what she's doing, to be able to play with her and learn on the field, what she's doing, like those three, those three you really learned so much from. And it was, it was incredible. What is that feeling like? Obviously knowing you said you looked up to Taylor in high school and now you get to play with her. What was that feeling like? Obviously when you, finally got to play with her after looking up to her in high school and stuff yeah um I think it's just it just goes to show like how much the game is growing and how all of these players are still able to play in the game um and not only just play but dominate um so I think I like I was really fortunate to be on the field with them because I'm learning so much from them just by watching them play and playing with them they're teaching me how to be, become a better lacrosse player, a better leader, a better teammate, all of that. So um, you definitely learn a lot from watching them growing up, but it, it's a different feeling to be able to be on the same field. 
What are some of your future plans as now you began, begin your professional lacrosse career? Yeah, um, so I'm working a full-time job now, so that's really exciting and awesome. Um, but ho- hopefully just get to stay in the game for a couple more years, and or at least just this year. Um, I'm not really sure. I hope that I can keep playing because I love it so much. So um, we'll see. Not to be, I'm not trying to be sneaky, but I just don't know. We'll see. Of course, what advice would you give college lacrosse players looking to play college lacrosse and then obviously move on to professional? Yeah. Um, so one thing I would say is keep playing multiple sports. I think that's really important. I grew up playing like every sport in the sun and played three sports in high school. And I think each of the sports let me, like made me a better lacrosse player. So even though I knew that like, I was playing lacrosse in college or I wanted to play lacrosse in college, I definitely use what I learned from soccer and field hockey and basketball to, um, to get myself to a place where I was going to be successful athletically. Um, and then also just trust the process of college recruiting. It's really challenging and difficult sometimes, but it's also really fulfilling and you will end up where you are supposed to end up. So I really believe that. And um, I think if anyone's like worried about recruiting or playing college, like if you put in the work and you do what you need to do on your end, like all of your pieces will fall in place. What advice would you give those college lacrosse players looking to make it into professional lacrosse? Yeah. Um, my advice is to do it, like go and play college lacrosse and leave it all out on the field. And then if you are given the opportunity to play professional lacrosse, like definitely do it because it's an experience that will you can talk about and you'll remember for the rest of your life. What advice would you give current and future professional athletes looking to play lacrosse yeah um I think it's it's all about being on a team so I think something that really like stood out to me about what I love and will remember from this summer from lacrosse is being on a team and I think no matter what sport you're playing like that's the truth is you're as long as it's a team sport your team is is your family for that amount of time so I think that that's huge and just remember that That's wonderful advice. Where can my listeners find you at on social media? You can follow me on Instagram at lmccone22. Thank you again, Lindsay McCone, for your interview and best of luck in your future as a professional lacrosse player for Athletes Unlimited. Thank you for asking me. You can find Brandon Sports Talk on Facebook at Brandon Sports Talk, Instagram at Brandon Sports Talk, Twitter at Talk underscore Brandon, and you can find me on YouTube at Brandon Sports Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again, Lindsay, for your interview, and best of luck in your future with Athletes Unlimited. Thank you. You've been watching Brandon Sports Talk. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to Brandon Sports Talk on social media and on YouTube.